Following on from my Roads and Tracks of Africa video, let's slow down to a walking pace. The context is the Waterberg in the Limpopo province of South Africa, a region where water is usually scarce and the ancient bedrock is not far from the surface, very much in the middle of nowhere. 15 kilometers from the nearest tarmac. The shops are an hour's drive away, and it's just how they like it. They call it paradise. It's a challenge for vegetation as well as the local wildlife. It's a farm in the South African sense, but rather small. You could walk the boundary fence uh, in a day. The land is riddled with tracks. Some can take a vehicle, and some are quite a challenge even for a 4x4. Four four. Of course, in a game viewer, you might see Impalu, Kudu, Sable, and lots of other beasties who can easily jump the 3 meter fences. Large raptors, yeah, they're around. Warthogs, hey, just look out the window. From the hilltops, there's quite a view. But how do we get there? Well. Let's find out on one of these walks. We start on an access road that parallels the fi field where sable are kept. Sorry for the fastening mechanism. Ah, okay. Okay. Right. We are being watched. Oh, okay. This dog Minnie has never been taken up, up until we took her over. She's never, yeah. um, she'd never been for a walk in her life. She absolutely mm. loves her walk. We've seen far too many two-footers around to be impressed with us. and then through a gate, and we're into the wild. I bet you're looking at those trees and say, goodness, they're scrawny. Well, yeah, that's as big as most of them get. Remember, the soil is really poor, water scarce for months at a time. Of course, if you've been walking around here as long as they have, you recognize what you see. Oh. oh, sorry. No, the, these holes. Yeah. Uh, probably could be could be ant bears. Um, ant uh, Could be um, odd volver. Um, mm -hmm. uh, odd wolf. Um, no, but that. Okay. The badger hole. Okay. Yes. Okay. When we started walking, it did not rain for quite a long time. The watercourses were dry on right. the surface. 
Okay, a week ago, the river was flowing through here, and now it's not. But the river is still there, it's just now its volume means that it's below ground. And then it rained. 28 millimeters, and they were absolutely over the moon. And we began to see some Earth, surface yeah. water. Looky, looky. Oh, it is flowing a little bit. Well. Yes. Yeah. But look, it's only sort of getting to here. Yeah. But it might be a little bit further. No, it's oh, running it's there. Just, it's just it's just disappeared oh. below the surface, that's all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, I want you in the water. I want you to oh. look water, water. <laughs> but we find it can take anything up to three days for the water at the top to get down here. Yeah. John, I have forgotten. There's something we need to revisit because mm -hmm. it happened very quickly. Okay. I've forgotten how to get from our sketch to applying it with a thing. Of course, mostly we make so much noise that any local beasties have lots of time to relocate. We get to see some really amazing flora and fauna, including these wonderful paper bark trees. So that you can then move the pallet around. So we had a hydraulic piston. Of course, as we're talking about all kinds of nonsense walking along, we also then come across the wonderful little things like a millipede. Rubber, and we had a, a mold, a two-part mold, and the rubber, which came as a long strip, would be... Um, one of their favorite spottings is wild dogs. And what's left over from the scat of a wild dog after the dung beetles have gotten to them is just a bit of hair and a few bones. Some of the stories behind what we saw are quite fascinating. Same place. Um, not necessarily peas, but certainly poos in the same place. And then the alpha male comes along and urinates all over it, all over the fresh poo. Ah. Right. And that confuses the the confuses the smell of it so that a potential predator cannot pick out from the smell the old, the young or the infirm. Ah, okay. And in these walks, well, we didn't see too many of the more fleet of foot animals because, of course, we make too much noise. Ah, but if we go to s sit in something that makes a lot of noise, well, sometimes you can see them.
Ja, das ist ein Tankerhohn.